Ah, wow, that's really great. I got some crackling right there. That means that stuff is coming up. And I got one right there coming up. That's still coming up. So I, I figured maybe I, I killed a couple of them because I took two out. But that one looks okay. It's still alive. I had to put some dirt on top of it. The whole root came out. And that one too. And it still looks good. And that one too. It's still green. So hopefully it does. Boy, if I get those cherry trees to grow, that'll be swell. I'm gonna give it some water. Even though it's sprinkling right now, never know how much sprinkle I'll get. And this is my other apple. I just watered it again. It's doing pretty good. Yay, I love that. And I put one over here. That, by the way, that one's doing pretty good. I wish I had more mulch piles like I made here. But it was a lot of work getting it done. And my body is sore. I could barely see through my eyes. But it's okay. The work I did is working out. I made one, two, three, four, five mulch piles already. I need like 20. <laughs> my poor kitty has eaten some of my plantings. It's that tree, it's looking good. I'll show you what my kitty ate. I planted some uh, green beans. And one of them is coming back right there. It looks like uh, she chewed on the blackberry. I hope she don't acquire the taste for that. Most of them I have them covered up. But I had, they were like three inches tall, the green beans on each of these. And they're gone now. She ate them. She likes to eat grass, lettuce, green bean, or the growth from potatoes what I'm learning she doesn't like everything though she did eat some of the uh, some of this kind of stuff <clears throat> but this lettuce hasn't grown big enough for her to munch on she ate some of the beans too like those kind of beans I'm surprised she didn't eat that one so she grabbed some of this and put it down here or a critter did. It's my little apple tree, and I got one down there as well. But I'm gonna cut all these off today, give it to the rabbits. Yeah, that's really cool. I learned those little red potatoes, they grow like crazy. I planted a big potato, red potato in here, four or five of them, and nothing yet, as far as I know, yeah. Nothing coming out of it yet. Then these two were Idaho potatoes and I got nothing coming out of there yet. And this was uh, a yellow potato. I put like five of those in there. And these are the red ones. They're growing like crazy. So if I had a whole bunch of those potatoes, I can grow rabbit food with them. So she went after these plants, but left that one there, or ate that one, yeah, the lettuce, but she left that one. And she loves these corn stalks, she's been eating on these. It's like, what have I got to do, put her in a cage? I saw her footprints all out here when I saw her first eat that, and then the second time she ate on it she ate that one that one a few times she ate on that one and you can see the top of that is off so at least I'm growing her some salad <laughs> she ate some of the tops off of this she doesn't let predators into here so they might sneak in once in a while 
my silly kitty. I see, I catch her sitting in the garden sometimes. Something chewed on the bottom of my, what am I gonna do with you kitty? I'm gonna have to spend $10,000 on a big gardening cage with quarter inch wire to keep out the, the stink bugs, the lizards. So just putting up a six foot high fence won't work with my kitty cat. She will jump that fence in a heartbeat. So I gotta build a roof over it too. For now, I'm gonna use that wire for that watermelon patch. But my body is too messed up to do it right now. I gotta rest. My, my back is sore on the bottom part like I pulled a muscle. I did it before a few times, it'll heal. But my blackberry is doing really great. But if I didn't have them in the cages, she might come over here and eat the leaves. These were the weaker ones that were shipped last. But it's coming back to life. They were three weeks in shipping in a box, but they survived. But these over here, I had a lot of uh, horse manure last year in this hole over here. And I collected it. It's without pesticides because I got it on the side of the street. There's a lot of wild horses around here. But these are doing great. This is from last year, the horse manure. Here's a piece of it. This one's doing really good. Well, that one's gonna be so big soon. I'm very happy about that. I wanna go around and collect more horse manure. I'm thinking about doing that in a day or two. Take about 10 buckets and there's plenty of it out there. Just gotta go around looking for it. Make the ultimate garden spot because of that. I'm letting the grass grow in there because it'll help shade the blackberry when I remove it. And my kitty cat may choose to um, eat the grass before the blackberry. As long as I get those roots established deep in the ground, it'll survive in the winter. I'm confident these will survive. Because it's already, uh, it's still June. Last August I planted 11 blackberries like seven wild blackberries and the rest were non-thorn and the other was thorny and all the thorny ones died by the time winter came. One survived this spring, but it finally died. One thorny one, the wild one. And then the other ones, um, <clears throat> the other ones, all died except for one. So I got one left and it's about three inches tall now and about four inches wide of growth. I don't have it in that nice horse manure soil that I had from last year. But the one I do is growing really good. I didn't even show it yet on the video. <laughs> Sorry. This one's doing fairly good. I didn't have a lot of that mix in here. This was mixed with half soil, half regular red soil, but it's still doing good enough, to, I think, to survive. And this apple tree, it's surviving and it's starting to grow, getting some growth on there, but it's not as good as the other one I have. Needs a little help, but this one right here, it's doing pretty good. This one's looking really good. This one has more, more branches, more thriving branches. I mean, it had some growth on the side here, 
but some animal came over here and ate it. I can't see no footprints though. So I don't know if it was my kitty cat. She did come over here and see the trees. She previously scratched them by jumping on them. So she's attacking my gardens. I'm thinking maybe I should give her away to someone, but I don't know. I don't know what to do. She's my only friend. I think I could just make the rabbits my friends, sit inside the rabbit pen and have my friendship time. So anybody want a black cat that's really cool but likes to eat your garden? Oh, a little gruff down there. Pretty cool. I noticed the roots were exposed, so I thought, oh, I better cover that. That was an oopser. I pulled some of the dirt out so I'd have more water to put in there. And that was a mistake. Have a good one.